What's up, Castleview? My name is Jackson Chapman. And my name is Caroline Raymond, and thank you so much for watching CPTV. We really hope you guys had a great weekend. Spring break is coming up soon, and we know you can't wait. But that also means that finals are on their way. We've made a short little video that hopefully will help you during finals. Hi, I'm Maddie, and it's final season. Finals make me feel stressed, upset, and angry. But you know what? We all have to suffer through it. And some people just do that better than others. So, I figured I'd try and find some ways to make it a little bit easier. First, we went around asking people what they felt like they struggled the most with. What do you feel like you struggle most with at school? Um, homework. I would say managing my time. Like, literally everything. Um, I think like multiple choice. Mainly homework. Tests. Homework. And found that people faced the most stress when it came to homework, time management, and test taking. We talked to two teachers to see if they had any tips or advice. I think trying to minimize the distractions, I would say just generally that. Is just try to focus on one thing and do it well. Know what you have to do ahead of time. Plan out what you're going to do. Say like, I'm doing this right when I get up from school. If you're going to save something for later, know exactly what it is you have to do. Make sure you understand what the question's asking before you even look at what the question is. If you're getting to that point where you're running out of time and you're, you have a bunch of multiple choice questions left, is go through and just kind of uh, browse through real quick and see which ones you can uh, knock out you know, that you know and you can get those done real quick. Do those first. And then other than that, choose the same one for, ever, for the rest of them because statistically you have a better chance than just choosing random ones for the entire thing. Next, we talked to Sophie Jones who along with being senior vice president has also been accepted into Stanford, one of the hardest colleges to get into. I had been looking at Stanford since I was a freshman and I didn't really think I could get in. It was just kind of like this thing that seemed really cool. And then I applied and I ended up getting in, which is really exciting. I think the biggest thing that helped me become accepted was just grit and toughing through a lot of the harder classes that I had and a lot of the harder times. Um, especially like with time management and all kinds of stress and things like that. My biggest thing for homework is I don't like to do it all at the end of the night or like all in one sitting. I like to try and get some homework done, sometimes an advisement or lunch, just so that it lightens my load overall because it's easier for me to do like a little bit 10 minutes at a time than a lot of it like for three hours. My biggest test taking technique is sometimes I struggle to remember things. I don't have very good memory at all. So before a test, I'll like sit down and look at the things that I specifically don't remember, whether they be like specific equations or dates in history or things like that, and I cram them as fast as I can. And then as soon as the test is passed to me, I write them all down right away, so I don't have to worry about remembering them for the rest of the exam. Now that we had all this compiled information, it was time to test it out. For the next few days, I did my homework using some of the tips. First, I used the app My Study Life to write down all of my homework, so I knew what I needed to do when I got home. I usually use the notes app on my phone, but it can start getting messy and confusing really quickly. My student life is nice because it's like a calendar on steroids. You put in all your classes, then due dates for assignments and tests. You can also sign up to get notifications and everything stays very organized. Next, I found an app that lets you block your social media for a desired amount of time. The app moment lets you log in how long you want to block your social media for and then sends you a spam of notifications if you get off task. Lastly, I set an alarm for studying. I studied for 45 minutes and then took a five minute break, then repeated this for as long as I needed to study for. This is supposed to make studying easier and more efficient since you have a goal to work towards and a designated break time. And I couldn't really test out and document any testing strategies since that like is definitely not allowed. But here are some tips from a Harvard student that you could definitely use during finals. So essentially, if you want to perfect on a test, take practice tests. Now, you don't need to write out a whole test for yourself. Read over the material, then you close it, and you try and recall the material. By focusing on 20% of the work, you will get 80% of the results. And so that's how you want to approach your studying. First, by focusing on the main core concepts that you know will show up on 80% of the test. In conclusion, I found that these tips actually worked really well. My time spent studying and doing homework decreased, and I felt a lot more organized and not as angry. So, if you find yourself frequently wanting to scream or cry or contemplating dropping some of your classes, maybe try out a few of these tips. Hopefully we've given you guys a few ideas for the near future. Speaking of the near future, students have been taking ACC classes here for quite a bit. 
The new ACC campus is getting built up right up the road. Let's see how this will affect our school. We are an open access campus, um, so as long as a student submits an application, uh, we'll be happy to help them figure out how to navigate their next goal as far as academics and career. We have a number of ACC students in Castle Rock and Parker, um, and many, if they want to go to CSU Fort Collins or CSU Pueblo, do not need to go to Fort Collins or Pueblo anymore. They can complete their four-year degree here in Douglas County. I think just in terms of cost savings, this is huge. Um, as someone who's still straddled with her own college debt, um, we'd like to see none. Of, we don't want to see our students leave with the same kind of burden as they graduate. So it's a great way to save money, and again, it's also a great way to find out if these pathways are the correct ones for you by taking introductory courses, um, and without having to leave the district. So, in terms of admission, there are no restrictions for any student applying to ACC. We're not reviewing any kind of high school disciplinary record upon admission. It's simply a question of: Are you a resident of Colorado, and what is your career? goal and academic goal. So in terms of geography and money, we think that it's a great benefit for everyone. So the ACC Castle Rock Collaboration Campus opens this fall for fall enrollment, and fall enrollment starts March? March 26th. Pine Ridge and Indian Reservation has had a really hard time this winter. They struggle with stuff like food, water, and heat. You might have seen them two weeks ago when they showed up here. Ms. Stallman's and a few students went up to help them. If you would like to learn more about how you can do stuff to help them out, you can contact Ms. Stallman. First, I was, I was not surprised by the amount of food that we got here at Castleview because I know that we have um, a student body that is very giving. And so we, we were able to take in so much food that it filled the science prep room. Um, but what was really even more fascinating was when we went to Denver on Saturday, to take the food to Pine Ridge, the amount of outpouring from the Denver community was, was even more great. Um, so the amount of food that we, we gathered here at Castleview was maybe an eighth of what we eventually took up to Pine Ridge. So I was very pleasantly surprised that people in general were willing to really help um, with this cause. The collection of the food and the supplies for Pine Ridge really solidified in my mind that we have a very giving community here. We have students who are willing to give. We have, we have a community that supports our students that's willing to give. And when, when there's a, a need outside of us, we really come together and we do help people. And, and it, really, it really ensured in my mind that um, when, there's, when there's a significant need, um, we come to the plate and we, and we help out. Oftentimes, like when my son, who graduated two years ago, or a year and a half ago was here, if he ever brought home any kind of charitable need, our family, that's just what we do. We give to the, we give to people who are in need. And so a lot of kids, I think, are reluctant to ask their parents when in actuality their parents want to know because their parents want to support and give. So I, I don't know that that's the case for every family, and, and surely not everybody can give the same amount, but even if it's time, you know, like there was an opportunity for kids to come help cut wood in the, in the forest or load up the wood. You know, loading up the wood was a tough job, and we hauled a bunch of wood there too. So just donation of time sometimes is just as good as donation of money or goods, you know. No, there's no scheduled um, visit for students to go to Pine Ridge. That's something that would take some undertaking and I'm looking for students who are interested in leading that charge. I've had quite a few kids who are not students of mine in my classes come and talk to me and so I would encourage any, anybody interested in kind of pursuing and furthering um, help on Pine Ridge to come and see me in, in my classroom in 5200 um, in the STEM Academy because you know we can put together a group of kids you know that are really after it and want to make this you know, maybe their project for the time that they're here at Castleview. That's all we have for you guys today. But you can catch up on our episodes on YouTube at CB Student Media. Or go to our website at cbstudentmedia.com. Once again, my name is Caroline Raymond. And I'm Jackson Chapman. And we hope you have an amazing spring break. Thank you so much. It's a cut.